Welcome to Reading in the Lair. Today I wanted to talk about heat levels in romance books. Why I wanted to make this video? Well, I found two videos uh, in the AuthorTube community that describe heat levels very well. These, I'll link them down below. But I felt we needed a video in the BookTube community and also I needed would like to have had one on my channel specifically so that my audience can reference it to know what I mean by the heat level. Um, in the titles uh, for different romance books I tend to see the terms like trashy and spicy and others but I'm never quite sure like okay well what heat level are you talking about here exactly like is it a heat level three you know four or five, you know, one, two, three, four, five, generally. I thought that it would be easier to explain and a little bit more universal-ish to equate the heat level to a TV rating. It's kind of mostly universal. Um, if you live outside the U.S., I would love to know like, is your guys' TV rating similar to the U.S.'s where it goes like G, PG, PG-13, TV-17, TVMA, all that, RX, etc. How yours go? Let me know. So, heat level one is the clean, wholesome romance. I would equate this to, like, TVG, rated G. Um, very, like, hardly not much going on here. You know, clean, wholesome. So, yeah, key level one tends to be, oh, maybe some hand holding, maybe a kiss, but not a whole lot else. You know. Then you have heat level two. That would be the sweet romance, which would be like rated PG, PG 13. You might get some making out, some light petting, some off the page, off the screen sex, and fade to black scenes. Then you have a heat level three, which would be sensual. Uh, that would be like a TV 17 in my mind, where you have like maybe one or two on page sex scenes, and it usually focuses on the emotions of the character rather than explicitly describing what's up. So, now heat level four is the steamy romance, which would be like TV mature to maybe rated R. They would have maybe like two or three sex scenes in the whole book, some explicit sexual language, but it's usually still governed by the happily ever after rule. Or trope. Then you would have heat level five, which is, I, they call it spicy, most people do I guess, and that I would equate to the rated R to X. That's erotica. Explicit language, explicit details, more stuff is happening, more fetishes are explored, and there's more sexy time scenes. Um, the book covers are designed to try to reflect those levels as well. Like on a level one, you would have a couple laughing, where a level five, you would have a shirtless man. So you can kind of tell by the cover what to expect. Where you place the books on the heat level index is subjective to each person, just like rating a book. Um, but to kind of have this semi-universal language helps with recommending the books to the right readers. So going forward as I review romance books, I will try to remember to mention the heat level as well. I'm not going to use the heat level to describe um, most of like the swearing or the violence though that honestly should be on a separate scale. Um, I wish there was a more universal scale that separated those things. 
one thing that I've come to realize is that I prefer heat levels 4 and 5. Like, bring on that steamy, trashy, spicy, smutty stuff. Um, I may not like every trope or fetish or scene that is given in the book, but I know that I like heat levels 4 and 5 because one smutty scene in a book just ain't enough for me. I would love for you to tell me in the comments what your favorite romance books are, and especially if you have any paranormal romance recommendations, and add the heat level after it, you know, title, heat level, so that we all can have some good recommendations. Um, also, I would love recommendations of other booktubers who prefer heat levels 4 and 5. That way I know who to get my recommendations from. I'm still new to all of the booktube darlings, since I haven't read them all yet. So, for those of you who have read Sarah J. Mass's books, what heat level would you say it is? Is it you know, one, two, three, four, or five. I, I want to know. Uh, I linked below the two videos that mentioned heat levels, and I also put a link for the US TV ratings, and I created a playlist for romance info videos, which I'm going to add this to. Um, feel free to recommend some videos to add to that playlist too, because I like building playlists about different things. I've only read, I think, like a handful of romance books so far, so I want to read more. Yeah, I think that's going to be it for this video. I'm thirsty. Not. <laughs> yeah, for Pepsi right now. <laughs> you were thinking. Not what you were thinking. Later. Except, yeah. You get me. I can't think. Well, we're gonna leave it at that.